C4 Labs this time. I'm checking out the Puck case. Yeah, you heard right. Those in Canada, you should be excited. This is the Puck, like a hockey puck style case. Uh, fits Raspberry Pi 3. It's got plenty of space to get in there. Nice cooling ventilation, fairly portable. And just like all the other C4 Labs case, it's unique and there's plenty of good instructions to help you build it. So part of the fun is getting it all together and making it look beautiful. Now, there is a bunch of different varietals of this case and a bunch of different looks, but for this one, we have the Atomic version. So let's go ahead and put this thing together and then check it out. We have a new case today from C4 Labs. This is called the Puck case. Take off the packaging here. We have the Puck Pie case, instructions, and a nice, easy to read diagram. We have a card, and we have a bunch of pieces with a rubber band. So, first thing to do is start taking off some of the paper, and there's lots of pieces of paper on here. I like this yellow atomic piece. We got our uh, hardware, heat sinks, many little things here but all right i think we've done it we have all of our pieces peel off each paper optionally wet paper okay we did that room micro sd card from the raspberry pi well here's the raspberry pi apply the heat sinks we already did that attach the pie to the bottom plate using the 10 millimeter screws and brass nuts as shown on the back of the card okay so i imagine that the brand name is going to go on the bottom and let's just make sure that this heat sink lines up. Yep, that makes sense. Micro SD comes out, heat sinks right there. Screw holes look to be aligned. All right, so we got the long screws with the washers and the legs. So remember, legs go in like this. So you can't see the screw. So little screws. The shorter screw, shorter screw goes in this one, and looks like you get the little gold screw that goes on top and acts as a spacer for the pie. So you got one of those there, and then the third one in this corner. I would just take this little gold. This would be like a a nut of some sort. Okay, so we got the three in there, and then these guys go in here. One, two, three. All right, so we got one, two, three, and then next step is to another gold on top to kind of secure the pie down. Okay, I got that. That part's easy. So these little gold nuts Go on. And this is where having small fingers is nice. Okay, so we got our pie on there. Pie is on there. And looks like we have a big plastic. Oh, we have a bunch. One, two, one, two, three, four, and then a fifth tall one. One, two, three, four, and then a fifth one here. Okay, so that's really tall back there. And then we have the smallest one first. It says top on here, which is good, so that's gotta go like that. And then are these numbered? We got three. Three, yeah, I'll say three on them. One, two, three, four. All right, all you should be left with now is the three patented nuts and your two plates here. And then we go this up top and then this over. So you can go like that or it can go like this. Kind of liking that. 
and then we'll finish. Alright, and there you have it. This is the puck case. Looking nice. So, a couple things about it. You can still on the side here, get to all your ports, things of that nature. Really nice. Roll it around. On the bottom, you can still get to the heat sink. This is c4labs.net. Uh, you can see the bottoms of the GPIOs. You got rubber feet here, so slide, doesn't slide, doesn't make a noise. You still have plenty of access to your micro SD card over here. Micro SD, easy to get to. All your outputs here, easy to get to. And then all your inputs there, easy to get access to. Uh, super secure, uh, probably fairly portable. Fairly easy to, to get a, to pack away. Your Pi's very protected in there. And uh, as you saw, the design is kind of, uh, you have the pegs here that hold it all into place. And then you had those little rounded pieces that kind of take on the right side. And then here's your pie. Thanks again to C4 Labs for hooking it up with this case. I think it's a great case, especially if you're into hockey, you're going to really like this one. Um, it is portable. It's kind of a puzzle to book together, but it's definitely a unique case. They come in a bunch of different varieties. There'll be links in the description if you are interested. If you do have any questions, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.